So, here we are. We are in Rome Total War 2, the new DLC. It's been out for a couple weeks now, but I have not played it yet. It's new to me. I'm sure it's new to a lot of you. And after you're done pressing F to pay respects to make Wills great again. We made Wills great again, mind you. But that campaign's over. It's done. And we're trying to start a new one today. Now, what shall we be doing? Well, since we just played as whales, who are themselves Celtic, I figured, why not go back in time and we'll play as the distant great, 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 great uncle of the Welsh, the Gauls who themselves are Celtic as well. And we're going to take over Italy as the Gauls. Change the course of history, and I don't know. We'll see. I have no clear-cut objective for this campaign, I don't think, unlike last game, where not that making Wales great again was a very clear-cut objective. We're going to make the Gauls great again, I guess. I'm not going to name the series that. I, you know, I'm tired of that. We'll, we'll, we'll do something else. But yeah. Let's make the Gauls... Let's make, let's make the Gauls great. Alrighty. Here we are. In Northern Italy. That's where we're going to be starting. In the... What will become Milan one day? I'm excited for this. It's been a long time since I've had much reason to play Rome 2. But here we are. I'm back. It's good to be back. Let's get to it. I don't know what our situation is. Guess we're going to want to research technology first. I always like doing military first just because... It's usually good to have good military. If we bring up the diplomacy screen, I b do believe the Carnutes were uh, in like northwestern France in the vanilla game. Don't know how they made their way down here, but whatever. We are surrounded by a lot of tribes that are friendly to us. I can see why the start said easy for the Insubres. Yeah, but you're all making fun of, oh, you took the easy start. No, I took I took the start because I thought it'd be fun, not because I wanted it to be easy. We're going to make it hard no matter what. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah. So, I'm guessing uh, we should probably go kill these guys first. We weren't super friendly with them, the Laponti. Uh, yeah, may as well go kill them. I, uh, well, this kind of sucks. Like, I got... I got three towns, and they're all different regions. Which is kind of annoying. But, oh well. We'll probably make Mediolanen our main military town. This city's unhappy. We'll just do the, uh... uh, the, uh shrine there. Tribeless warriors. Well, you can join my tribe. All right, let's um, let's get our armies together. Well, I guess hey, you can't have more than one general in run two, can you? Of course not. I still haven't fully. I played like one campaign since the big update. Uh, not in this, but I still don't fully understand like the whole new family tree and politics system. But I'm glad there is one now, because it was kind of lame without one. Get Let's combine armies here. Um, we'll just send everyone. This guy's our chief. He can just chill in the city. And we'll go prepare to attack. We don't need to declare war on them now. But we'll go to prepare to attack the Laponti. They have two towns. Both are directly to our north. Let's just build up our... Uh, here in Medi Mediolanen for now 
good and noble friend. And we'll get some trade yes. agreements going. Welcome. We will t At least with people who want one. Sit, friend. And Which does not appear to be many people. You have reached civilized lands now. Oh. I hope you will therefore behave with civility. I don't like your attitude. The time has come to consider how we might both benefit from the developing situation. I don't like this guy. <laughs> but you know what? I'm going to accept that for now anyways. A wise decision. It's always Shut up. I don't like you. Well, met friend. You were a dick. The gods will All right. Everyone else kind of didn't like. Well, maybe they'll get trained now that. Yeah, shut up. Now. All right. Okay. We Rasna treasure the good things in life. I fear you have less stringent standards. This guy's still just berating me. He's not even like the diplomatic screen's gone, and he's still just in the background talking shit. <laughs> Anyways, that's in the first turn. Righty, righty, oh. For the tribe. Okay. Ready for so Oskeala or Oskeala is their capital. And that is the walled city. Clavina is just else? a minor town. No wall. For I'm guessing we probably want more troops here. We a bit light on the uh, swords, so we'll get three of those. So I think my plan should be the people who didn't like me, which were uh, the Laponti. Well, I don't know. Maybe they still like me. But we should probably take out the Laponti and the Liguris first and then um, kind of see how st stuff plays out I'm guessing a lot of people are just going to start going to war with each other and these guys already are like they're at war with the Veneti I don't think uh, yeah these guys are the Baturgis Baturgis and the Liguris are at war and I don't know who these Viesel are they're war the Snonies, but I'm sure stuff stuff will develop as we play, as we take on the Laponti, and we'll just adapt. Like I said, I've never played this DLC yet, so I don't really know what to fully expect. I haven't watched any videos. Darkness gathers, but you can I'll accept an alliance with the Carnudis. I'm not going to pay you a hundred for it. You are honorable yeah, I'll, accept, I'll accept an alliance with them too, or non-aggression pact. Yeah, so I've never seen like any Let's Plays or anything, so I really have no idea how this whole campaign plays out. Alright. Let's... F can we get an agent? Do we already have an agent somewhere. Where is he? Where is this guy? Gabranos. <laughs> at first I thought it said Gabronos, which is kind of like Jabroni. Never mind. Don't worry about Don't worry about what I'm saying. We'll go do military administration. That reduces our costs and stuff. And we'll just go trespass on their lands because we don't give a fuck. I want to go see what's up with their city first before we attack them. Yeah, they're not going to like me, but that's fine. Because I'm going to attack them anyway. There's still an option to create confederations in the DLC, which is cool. We might end up doing that with some of the other Gallic tribes. Uh, at some point, if it becomes Our necessary. Have spoken. We live for battle. We dream of it. We relish it as others do a fat goose. All right. You well, here we go. Um, we're not going to attack the Laponti. Keep the treasure. Give it to noblemen. Give it to your neighbors as a gift. Give it to the populace. Well, the people are kind of mad at me, so we'll show them how great I am. We'll give them the, the stuff. Hey, sorry for bothering you guys. We didn't mean nothing by it. We'll be on our way now. Cause we got a we got a different different thing to worry about here. All right, let's force march down as quick as we can. Here's their city. Now they don't have an army marching yet. But might have one soon. All right, we'll start. Yeah, we'll start building up a second army. I have, s I, I mean, I got a decent amount of money and have some okay income. Um, and then we'll research the first civil tree too, just so we'll have everything unlocked for later. Now, 
My friend, be welcome. So we're at war together with the Liguris, with the Baturgis. Hopefully, um, honestly, it'd be ideal if they kill the Baturgis for me, and then I kill the Liguris, and then get both of their land without it looking like a dick <laughs> and betraying, betraying one of them. All right, the Carney and the Veneti are at war. Veneti seem to be pretty warlike. They're worth a lot of people by the looks of it. Ooh, a s horse pins might be cool. So I can get some cavalry. The only problem is... I really hate having, like, all your recruitment stuff in different... Different, uh... What am I trying to say? Provinces? I hate having to go back and forth. Unfortunately, though, the Liguris... Well, they got four towns... This is all its own uh, province. Liguria. So, <laughs> I'm about to have like four different regions. Or provinces. Wh which one is the big one? Okay, the province is the big one. The regions are the smaller ones. Hmm. Let's get some better swords here as well. Let's just do. Let's just do cattle pins there. I don't need horses yet. I don't think. I mean, they'd certainly be helpful, but. I mean, I can always start up new military buildings in Liguria, since it is a big province. And it is in the south, and we're going to go eventually go south anyways, because we're almost at the far north. All right, so. I'm still gonna, you know, I'm actually gonna still have a, an army up on my northern border. Because I still don't trust the Lapanti, and I s might still want to attack them, depending on how well the attack against the Ligurians does. Let's start looking at some of these. Hmm. Alright. This one's pretty good. This is melee attack and weapon damage. That'll be helpful early on. Of course, we are going to need to start making money at some point. But I'm hoping just generally... Conquering more territory will do that. Of course, my agent's helping out a bit as well with that. Okay, let's see what's up. Alright. Now, ooh, that is... These garrisons are apparently no joke. Interesting. Alright, well, let's get our first battle of the campaign going. I really don't know what to expect. I mean, it looks like our armies are pretty similar. They do have a lot of skirmishers, a lot of slingers. This is where a cavalry would be handy when you're, when you uh, got a skirmishing disadvantage. They had, looked like they had some pretty decent troops inside the garrison. It was like a governor and maybe a couple, like, elite swordsmen. I don't know how elite they are. They might just be average. We'll see. We're about to find out here. Nice wide open plane to fight on. Alright, let's not... Highland Hunters. That's kind of cool. I don't know what the units look like. Got a bunch of shirtless dudes. He's, they're all pretty ripped. Dude, look, this guy's guy's huge. He's just tall. He's like taller than everyone else in his unit. And he's got like massive pecs. I'm counting on you, soldier. You're uh you're our main man in this unit. Over here we got the uh Arches! We got more clothed uh, a bit more clothed. Warriors eager for blood. Here these guys are fully clothed. They have uh shirts. And, um, looks like they're wearing capris. No. No, no capris. Where's our general looking Noble like? Fighters! Kind of the same. This guy, I don't know. <laughs> 
everyone in this... Wait a minute. What is this guy doing? What are you do <laughs> What are you doing, soldier? Look around you. Look how big everyone else's beards are. And then there's you. With your stubble. Your disgrace. Your disgrace to this unit. And <laughs> anyways. Alright, let's um... Uh, well... Let's get our uh, melee, our uh, swords and axes, our best, uh, that is, swords. Spears. in the middle. Sword. And we'll keep the flanks a bit weaker. Then have the spears on the flanks as well. And we'll keep all our skirmishers more in the back. Because they have a skirmishing advantage, we're going to want to be quick here. This guy has like a face tattoo. Is that just dirt? I think it's just dirt. Alrighty. Their reinforcing army is coming directly from our right. I wonder if we can cut them off. Yeah, you guys are going to want to run there. If we can cut off their uh, reinforcing army, because this does have the more elite units, it looked like. It's all these native Ligurian axe warriors. These guys look kind of cool, to be honest. We got two and then a, Gallic, a noble Gallic swordsman. So yeah, those are definitely the more elite of their army. Let's try to, let's move up our Highland Hunters. Let's start trying to, uh, we'll start shooting up their general. Maybe catch his attention, force, force them into a fight. Yep, here we go. Okay. We gotta fight now. It's I'm guessing Our hidden units have been that my tribeless warriors who are engaging right now. <laughs> oh my god, these guys just got destroyed. Oh man, they're worse than I thought. <laughs> okay. Here, how do we want to adapt this? All right, you guys, you all hold your ground. Oof, that's... <laughs> that's rough. That's rough, buddy. Okay. I didn't even get... I, like, they routed so fast I didn't even have time to flank with my spears. Okay. Um, let's just get all of our skirmishers to hand, uh, hammer their general's unit. Alright, I'm trying to surround their Ligurian Axe Warriors. And their general's in a great spot to get flank shots in them. That is, if my spears can hold out long enough. But let's go ahead and try to outflank their uh, axemen. And we'll just hope that our skirmishers can continue to hammer down their general's unit. All these guys are going to act as a holding force just in case they decide to attack. I don't think they are. It doesn't look like they want to. Our javelins are definitely getting some work in, and our archers too. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. He's already dead. All right, that's uh, that's nice. All right, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Now, I'm not gonna lie. We did take a lot of casualties there, but but uh. All, like, a any good units they had are gone. I'm guessing their general's unit isn't going to last much longer just because the general's already dead. We did just kind of charge into him like a bunch of maniacs without even <laughs> really trying to outflank him, though. But numbers, numbers will usually win. All right, there he goes. Okay, let's uh, reform a bit. 
So, we should have a superior army at this point. Because all of these guys were these, like, tribeless warriors, which you saw, they got absolutely destroyed by the more superior units, like the... I'm guessing my longsword warriors would tear through them, as well as my uh, Gallic elder swordsmen. Even my young sword would probably just rip right through them. Yeah, if you look at the stats... It's not even close. These tribeless warriors have... Five defense. No armor. They're just, they're just bad. <laughs> I do love these tribeless spearmen, though, because they... Maybe the... I guess the tribeless warriors. <laughs> like, they just carry around daggers. You know? No shield, no armor. They're just like peasants with... With butter knives. Spears are just like... Brought their spears and that's it. Now, we are going to have to be slightly worried about a skirmishing advantage. Just because they could hammer us down a bit before we get to the fight. But I don't think it should be too bad. I'm going to lead with my skirmishers. And let them draw the fire. And then we'll just kind of start moving up on each flank. And then... It just a charge in the middle. We'll keep our depleted units in the back so we don't lose them. Not that they're super important. Important. At least these guys. Alrighty. Let's, uh... Let's have our hunters start shooting some slingers. And have our skirmishers try to get to the slingers. They might all get mowed down, though, before they get there. They do have shields though, which is why I sent them in first, because they will block a lot of stones. But they are still just meant to draw the fire and not actually do much. Alright, let's keep moving around on this. Alright, these guys want to fight. We'll charge them with one, try to move around with the other. Over here, let's kind of do the same thing. We can go ahead and charge in. Alright, and they are going to engage. My general's kind of being slow here. Alright. Try it out flank. Come on, guys. It's actually rather unfortunate that my general uh, ended up on this side, because now he can't even really help. And, yeah. Uh, they might push through here in a couple areas. One of our units has used all its ammunition. I'm definitely going to need to get my skirmishers involved here. And the depleted units as well. You guys might actually need to help. Alright, we routed um, the general of this unit. He was just a uh, tribeless warrior, not like a, any sort of anything higher tier. Alright, it looks like we're kind of beating them back. My Highland Hunters might get killed here. Come on, Axes. Let's break through here. Stop the Tribeless Warriors. Come on, guys. Get in there. Help the Hunters. Ooh, that's not good. The battle is turning in our favor. Alright, we're going to win by the looks of it. But, I mean, it was a pretty nice little fight. Uh, we, took some, we took some damage, that's for sure. I'm just worried about where... Like the main Ligurian armies are, because I didn't see any of them. They could be up fighting the Baturgis, but they also might not be. They could be on their way over here. Come on, guys. There we go. Anyone else just... Okay, there we go. That's the end of the battle. We're probably not going to catch many of them. A lot of them were very light troops who can run fast. So yeah, we actually lost more than half of our army there, but we took the city. I don't think we lost any troops in total. We may have lost this tribeless warrior, but that's whatever. Yeah, we did. That's fine, though. We'll occupy. And look at that. We got a, uh, got a warrior's lodge here, so that'll be nice. 
what do we want our general to be? We'll give him the warrior trait. Uh, this, I guess this army was next to the city. I didn't notice them. I thought they were, I thought they were part of, I don't know what I was thinking. Anyways, let's get some more young swords. Cause that, they'll probably be vital. Or vital? Vital. Actually, let's get some slingers too. That'll be helpful. Here's their capital, Stalia. Asta's up here. We can go ahead and move our um, thing into there. I'm also going to recruit... I'm going to raise an army here, too. Let's do a horseman. And just get some... Um, just get some really cheap guys to be as a garrison, just to prevent rebellion there. I think that should be it for episode one, though. We got on our first war, we had a first battle, took our first city, a lot of firsts in part one, including a first in Rise of the Republic. The Insubres will hope to expand a bit more in the next part. We'll try to take over Liguria soon, all of Liguria, and then I'm sure we'll go to war with Lopanti as well. The Baturgis, they only have one city it looks like. Either that or they lost one already to the Lugurians. I think they did. <laughs> yeah. I'm guessing the main Ligurian army is up here at Aporadia. They took the Baturgi city. I don't know if the Baturgis even have an army left. Anyways, we may be uniting all of northwestern Italy soon. Just by happenstance. We'll see. We'll see how this all plays out. Thank you for joining me in part one. Hope to see you in part two.